I want to reinforce why the being in the holy place is so important in our lives because it's about sanctification and why do you want to spend your life in the outer court which is all about judgment either water or fire you know God is a consuming fire and if we are not with him we will be consumed if we are not his we will be consumed the flood already happened with Noah to cleanse the outer court the first time and just like it says in uh, Matthew 24 where Yeshua is talking about the the end times it says it will be as in the days of Noah well what happened in the days of Noah they were were evil continually and when you look at the temple tabernacle being the universe you know there's a reason why it says that the outer court is given to the Gentiles don't measure it for the outer court is given to the Gentiles and let's go to Hebrews 10 and verse 19 it's important you, you should read the whole chapter because like it says well actually I'll, I'll start in verse 16 for a reason this is the covenant I will make with them after those days says the Lord I will put my law upon their heart and upon their mind I will write them okay that's part of sanctification and we also see that we see that same thing over in Hebrews 8 we'll go over there for a minute starting in, in uh, Hebrews 8 verse 8 it says for finding fault with them he says behold days are coming says the Lord when I will make effective a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah not like the covenant which I made with their fathers on the day when I took them by the hand and led them out of the land of Egypt for they did, did not continue in my covenant and I did not care for them says the Lord for this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days says Lord I will put the law into their minds and I will write them on their hearts and I will be their God and they shall be my people and they shall not teach everyone his fellow citizen and everyone his brother saying know the Lord for all will know me from the least to the greatest of them for I will be merciful to their iniquity their iniquities and I will remember their sin no more so we see that and the, rem, notice that the house it, it, the covenant is with the house of Israel and the house of Judah it isn't with Gentiles if Gentiles want to be in the covenant they become part of Israel by being grafted in Romans 11 and also Ephesians 2 the latter half of Ephesians 2 into uh, Ephesians 3 8 I believe it is um, and if you read the beginning of Hebrews 8 it talks about uh, verse 2 it says a minister in the sanctuary and in the true tabernacle which the Lord pitched not men for every high priest is appointed to offer both gifts and sacrifices so it is necessary that the high priest also have something to offer now if he were on earth he would not be a priest at all since there 
are those who offer the gifts according to the law, who serve who serve a copy and shadow of the heavenly things, just as Moses was warned by God when he was about to erect a tabernacle. See to see, he says, that you make all things according to the pattern which was shown you on the mountain. But now he has a has ordained ordained a more excellent ministry by such by as much as he has also the meteor he is also the mediator of a better covenant which has been erected on better promises. Yeah, the promise that the law will be written upon our heart. And we read that then we go back to Hebrews ten you know we all this about the law being written on our heart, but what comes to mind for me is that the breastplate of righteousness. By the law being written upon our heart, we have the breastplate of righteousness. By accepting Yeshua, we have the helmet of salvation. And, and realizing that the prophecies have been fulfilled, that Messiah came the first time, we are shot with preparation of the gospel. The shield of faith grows and becomes stronger as we obey. It says, faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of Elohim. So therefore, you know, hear, hearing and obeying. Faith comes by hearing and obeying. Hearing and obeying comes by the word of God. That's one of the things you see in the inner court. The, the table of showbread represented the word of God. Partaking of the word of God, the altar of incense, prayer, and that's where we need to be. And, and that the Holy Spirit, represented by the menorah, puts, brings light upon the word as we read it. And that uh, causes the word of God to be the sword of the Spirit as we read it, because the Holy Spirit guides us in in our uh, standing of Scripture, and we have those things, um, and then also it says we do not know how to pray, so that the Spirit comes alongside to help us, and has grown too too deep for words. We do not know how to pray, but the Holy Spirit comes alongside. That's the inner court. And we, we see here in Hebrews 10, verse 19, Therefore, brethren, since we have confidence to enter the holy place by the blood of Yeshua, Jesus, you know, as most people call him, by a new and living way which he inaugurated for us through the veil that is his flesh his veil is the his flesh is the veil and since we have a great have a great high priest over the house of god let us draw near with sincere heart in full assurance of faith having our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how to stimulate one another to love and good deeds, not forsaking our own assembling of ourselves together as the habit as is the habit of some, but encouraging our one another and all more all the more as you see the day drawing near. And so we see the inner court right there. That's, you know, and that's, I believe Paul was talking about. You read in Colossians 3 uh, about putting on the new self. You should you need to read those things 
about putting on the new self. Or Paul, read, read uh, Romans 6, 7, and 8, where it talks about the, the war between the flesh and the spirit. That's what we're fighting. And the reason why all this is so important is the outer court is about judgment. Don't we want to be in the inner court, in the tent, in the in the ark, so to speak? I personally feel that we are given access to the holy place because it's part of the ark, the tent being the ark, the protection from the judgment time. The, you know, in, in a way, I believe that the whole tabernacle is an ark of the covenant as we read pray and obey we draw close to her closer to him in sanctification and sanctification is about putting on that new self being that person that's what this that's the whole point of this book that's why you read it that's why you lit seek to live it i didn't see a lot of victories until that i I had hoped to see until I started embracing the Zeet seats. I didn't understand that for many, many years until I started obeying it. And that's how our faith grows, is by obedience, hear and obey. That's how the sword of the Spirit becomes bigger and stronger, is as we exercise our faith. Our faith grows stronger. You know, the belt of truth, it protects us from being caught up on things. Because it says, guard up your line, loins. They were wearing robes at the time. And having a belt around your waist allows you to pull in that skirt or that, that tunic so that it doesn't get caught up on things. That's something I learned as I've embraced the tunic and I wish I could wear one all the time I don't have all that but that's what it's about is growth I've grown more in the last five to six years than I grew up the rest of the time that's the power of the inner court is growth and and a love for for your fellow man I care. I don't care to argue with people. Why bother? It's not. There's no fruit in it. The fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, gentleness, kindness, faithfulness, goodness, self-control. You'll find that in Galatians five, twenty-two and twenty-three. So you know this. That's the whole point. Is we want to be in. the we want to be in the holy place because the outer court is a court of judgment. So hopefully this is helpful, this is insightful in some way for you and that it will help you in your, in your growth and inspire you to draw close in sanctification. Shalom, shalom.